Step 1 is to isolate the equipment. Turn off the power supply and let your transformer de-energize or simply disconnect it from the system entirely. Here it is in the bottom left corner in our DC prep box. Step 2 is to test your multimeter. Now in order to do this, what you want to do is measure a known source. Here we have a 20 ohm resistor. As you can see, we're getting a reading of 20.23, which is quite close to what our value is meant to be. You can verify this by looking at the transformer itself. As you can see, the primary winding consists of the yellow, black and purple or violet. And our two secondary windings consist of the green and the red and the brown and the blue. From this, we can see that the yellow and the purple give us our primary winding and then we have our two secondary outputs between the brown and the blue and the green and the red. So what was the purpose of that test? Well, there are two good reasons why you would want to do a resistance test. The first one being to identify the windings. The second reason we do the test is to ensure that the windings are intact. If there is a break in the winding, you could get an open circuit or you might get a short circuit which could mean that your measurement will be a lot lower than normal. If you found this video useful, please like it, and if you know someone that can benefit from it, please share it. And please subscribe to our channel so you can get regular updates of our videos. Thanks for watching.